Hello. <laughs> it's very, very refreshing to be here and um, very, very inspiring. And I think one of the reasons I am here is because of events like this, being able to hear people speak about their journeys and their success stories and, and um, it, you know, inspire other people. Um, well, I went to, I went to Lewisham College, uh, which is now called Lasoko. And I went to Lucian College and I did a um, BTEC National Diploma in Performing Arts. So I did two years of that. And during Lucian, I felt that I wasn't being taken seriously. And I, I had this, you know, this attitude, I had this thing within me, you know, I, I felt like um, I wasn't being listened to, and I, I wasn't being taken seriously. And I then, you know, came to realise that I weren't taking myself seriously. And that is why, you know, people weren't really relating with me or, you know, I sort of put a barrier, a barrier up. And, um, and it was only when I auditioned for drama school, I auditioned for Central, Rose Bruford, a few others, and I didn't get in. And I thought, you know, that it's a given, that, you, you know, you, the next step is drama school, you, you know, you have to get in. And, um, and it hit me because I didn't get in, I didn't get a place. And uh, it really, I don't know, it really affected me a bit. It really um, uh, sort of spurred me on. It made me want to, it made me even more hungry for it, similar to your story. Um, and I was very fortunate to have a teacher who, you know, believed in me and, and she was able to take me in and, and go through my monologues with me and, and sort of, you know, direct me and focus me mentally um, for drama school. Because it's not just about talent, I think you've got to be ready up here. I think that's where, you know, that's where it starts. Uh, and also knowing what you want, you know, she sat me down asking me questions, you know, why do I want to go to drama school, why not university, and, you know, so I had to search within myself and, you know, find out why I wanted to go to drama school, why I wanted to become an actor, why I wanted to tell stories and inspire people and, and play different characters and so on. Um, so she really made me dig deep and so I realised why, you know, why I wanted to go to drama school, and which, is, which struck a chord with me and made me realise um, you know, made me made me search for for what I'm going to do within that space of time. So within that space of time uh, of me reapplying for drama school. So there's so many things, and uh, you know, there's so many things that we don't know about. That it feels like you know you have to search. If you're not searching for it, like it's there, you just have to make that step towards it. You know, and places like Theatre Peckham. I, I, I was a part of a place called. Uh, um, Second Wave Center for Youth Arts. So I was there and they really took me on board and very similar, you know, they, I was able to, to do uh, some plays there, work with different directors, different practitioners, um, you know, so I kept busy, I kept, you know, doing things. And I also, I should mention, I also joined the technical theater course um, because my teacher at Lucian College, she thought, the way to keep me interested in theatre, because she thought I was just going to gallivant and, you know, get a day job and do, you know, forget about acting. Um, so she kept me in the college. So she said, why don't you do the technical theatre course? And I thought, why not? I'll do the technical theatre course. And, um, and I learned so much about theatre, because I didn't just learn about performance. I just I learned about the technical side of things. So it made me appreciate being an actor more mm. and made me appreciate theatre as a whole and the whole process, the mechanics behind it. So not just me standing on stage and speaking and getting an applause and stuff. So, you know, it's, yeah, it was very, um, looking back now, it was very, it's amazing. I don't know, I, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm very grateful for that opportunity because um, I felt like it's prepared me, like it, everything I did within that year prepared me for, for what's to come, or what was coming. So I reapplied, uh, very fortunate I got into, you know, got into here and I got on the collaborative and devised uh, theatre course uh, and that was an amazing process because then I was open to, you know, the whole collaborative side of, of theatre, so working with different people because not everyone you're going to like, it's not everyone you're going to get along with but uh, it's nice to be able to channel all that work into the work, to channel it to channel all that energy into creating theatre and the work, and that was always the main focus. Um, and also, for example, on the course, we get to do our own, you know, do our own uh, um, three minutes of work. So, and we were 
in charge of operating the lighting desk, operating, you know, directing it ourselves. So I felt very equipped to be able to do that, which is amazing. Um, so everything seemed to, you know, sort of fall into place. So I'm very, um, I'm very grateful. But I think, I think it's, uh, it's very, very inspiring hearing, um, hearing stories um, like this, because, because there's so many people, even on my course, who didn't get in on their third go. And then now they're doing amazing things. You know, there's a guy in my class who, who didn't get in on his, who got in on his third try, but he's done amazing, an amazing body of work in the space of one year, you know, of graduating from drama school. So, you know, I think it's what you do within that time that gets you prepared and gets you ready and, and um, yeah, and, 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 and also, it's funny because um, Catherine was talking about m made it, you know, like, <laughs> like I've made it, I, you know, I, don't, I haven't made it, <laughs> you know, and, and I feel like, and also this whole thing of going to drama school and feeling that, oh, you're a trained actor, you know, you're not a trained actor, you're training, you know, you, every job requires something new from you and mm. you learn from every single job, every actor you work with, you, you, you know, you <clears> suck <throat> their, you know, what they got to give, you know, their, their creative juices and, and you take that on board. And um, so this idea of train, trained, you know, I think it's not, it's, it's, not, it's a myth, you know. So I, I'm happy for everything, every opportunity that comes my way and, and um, very grateful for them that I can continue to learn and continue to build. And, and drama school is not the be all, it's not the be all end all. Some people don't go to drama school and still do amazingly, you know, because they, they're learning, they're training, they're training elsewhere, you know. So whatever way you can train and learn and build and, and read. Um, I think drama school, because I, I, I never used to read. It's only when I came to drama school that I, you know, I saw the importance of reading and, and knowledge and, and um, being able to do research. And, you know, so now I relish in research, I relish in reading and, and watching documentaries, going to the zoo and, you know, doing extra things. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's, so it's amazing because you learn about the craft and you, you can immerse yourself into it. And I feel, I feel that's something you can do, you know, you can do now. You know, you don't have to wait to get into drama school to be able to do that. But, so that's, yeah. That's so it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Great.